So the wig that I will be styling today is a wig that I already had on my YouTube channel. Um, I'll link the poll right here. I had it for about a couple months now and it got pretty old but I ended up washing it, blow drying it and um, yeah it was like really nappy. But yeah, anyway starting off you're just going to comb the wig out till you have no more knots. Just comb it out as best as you can. Um, so right here I'm just coming in front out because I honestly was going for bangs with this look but you'll see in the end how it came out but I'm just brushing combing everything forward um, now I'm going to take a small section a really small section because I wanted to actually have like a bang and um, I will be taking a mechanical pencil now you can use a regular pencil but I use a mechanical pencil for um, just one little reason um, I found it easier to use this these pencils anyway and then on top of that I only had mechanical pencils I have a whole lot of them from like high school so I just use these but um, I'm breaking off the tip like the end of you know the little thing just broke that off and just continue to twist the hair around the pencil and do that for the whole head now I'm, in the front like I said I'm going to be taking smaller sections and twisting the hair in the front so all you want to basically do is bring the pencil as closest to the root as you possibly can and continue to wrap the hair around the pencil and make sure that you're twisting it like really tight um, making sure that the hair is like really close together being that this is not a number two pencil it's a it's a bit shorter than a regular number two pencil so if you want your curls to be like tight and of course you got to have the hair fit on the pencil make sure you ravel it around really tightly and close together so that's why it was taking me kind of long for the first time around but as the video goes on i will get better at it it's really easy to be honest so yeah So once you're done raveling the hair around the pencil, you just want to secure it with the rubber band at the end of the pencil and at the top of the pencil. So when you boil the hair, it won't unravel. And I also like to mention, after I got done twisting the hair, I scrunched the hair like really, really close together, um, like squeezing the hair to make it like shorter to fit on the pencil. So that's why it looks like that. I didn't even add that part in. But, um, so yeah, that's all you want to do is just add the rubber bands after you've been twisting the hair. So I'll be taking bigger sections like this for the rest of the hair and I'll be adding some mousse at the ends of the hair because with synthetic wigs it gets really brittle at the ends of the hair so I'll just be working that into the hair and combing it through and just twisting the hair up after I add it in. Now you didn't see me add it in the first few clips but I did actually put it in the hair. It makes the hair a lot more shiny and a lot more smooth when raveling it.
Okay, so here's the part I want to show you guys as to why I use mechanical pencils. As you can see, the curl was loose at first and I ended up twisting the pencil to tighten the curl. See, as you can see, it's loose and then I twist the bottom. I hold the, the, top, the eraser and then I twist the end of the pencil like because you know mechanical pencils twist so that was really really helpful like i just twist the pencil and then the curl gets tighter so yeah as you can see just twist it and then the curl gets tighter and it stays like that after twisting the hair i got some hot boiling water and i boiled the water for about like 15 minutes tops and just dip the hair in there and um, get something to press it down to make sure it sinks down to the bottom and I let this sit in the water for about like 30-40 minutes until the water was like cool and then just pat it dry with the towel get as much as excess water as you possibly can out of this um, I did not have a blow dryer to dry this hair so I literally let it like air dry and dry in front of my air conditioner for like two days straight because my bull dryer broke so this took two days for these curls to dry so i was not able to get me unraveling the hair but it's pretty self-explanatory um all you have to do is like really unravel them just like as you would do like a flexi rod but before taking them out make sure you gently take out both rubber bands and take the hair off the pencil it might be here like raveled stuck around it so slowly take the curls apart and um once they're all over your head you can just fluff them but yeah sorry guys i did not get to show you that part but i do have um another video that i would recommend and i'll link it down below and i got this video idea from her um, her name is Chris on YouTube and I really love her. So yeah, go check out her video. She'll show you guys, you know, how to take them out and stuff like that. So, so yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, next clip. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to be showing you guys how I hide that laces. Um, I did not bleach the lace or the knots or anything like that. All I'm doing is just using the baby hairs to cover up the lace. So right now I'm just using some Eco Styler Gel to first smooth it down. And then I use my Got To Be Spray and spray it on top just to make sure that it lays down. So um, yeah, I won't be putting any foundation on the lace. I'm just going to be covering it up with the baby hairs. And this part right here just shows why I didn't bother to cover it up with foundation because I was just able to cover it up with the hair, with the baby hairs that I already had created. So it made it look really natural without doing all the extra work. So now you guys can see how the curls came out. They're so freaking pretty. And you see the fuzz right there, the little frizzy. Nope. So I'm just going to take that same mousse and put it in the hair. And this mousse makes the hair so freaking shiny and soft. So yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing is just putting the mousse in my hair and kind of separating the curls a little bit. You don't want to make it too frizzy. But I feel like some frizz does make it look a lot more natural so yeah just separate it as you would like to do um when i separated it naturally when i first like separated it i mean took it out the curls they were kind of already separating by themselves so yeah just take some mousse and continue to fluff it out and it looks super duper cute period poo
girl.